for me, it's now the clear, Napoli are the clear favourite to win the Scudetto. I know you're not supposed to say that in in October, and things will change over the course of the season. Things will happen that surprises. Things will will there'll be twists and turns along the way. And maybe what I'm about to say is is offset by the possibility of oh hey, what if Kratzgetti gets injured or something, you know? And and of course, there's also a World Cup in the middle of the season, which is going to change all sorts of things. Players are going to go away and get injured. Players players are going to come back in different form. Things are going to happen in that World Cup. But I just think what I can't move past with this team every week is the depth. And I think this week was one of those weeks that really proved it because we've had a month or so without Victor Osman. Now, remember everybody, last season, Victor Osman gets injured against Inter. Napoli at top of the league and that was their first loss of the season was the game he gets injured in. He's away for two months. When he comes back, they've lost three more games. They lost one game with him and it was one where he got injured. Comes back and they've lost three more times and they're six points off the lead. In fact, I think they're six points and in to have a game in hand as well when he comes back. So it's, it's a fast difference when he's there and when he's not. This season, he comes back and it's like, don't get me wrong, Victor Osman's come back. He scored twice in two games, but you feel right away like, is he going to be first choice? Is, are we going to see Raspadori keep that, that number nine spot and Osman uses the change up? It's that, it's that dramatic of a shift in, in, in the, the depth of this team. No one is saying that Victor Osman isn't brilliant because he is. And no one's saying that he's not got lots of country to this team because he does. He did it again twice this week. But I do think Spalletti in his absence has, has created a, a whole different mode for this team where Raspadori is, he's a false nine, really. He's not a number nine. He's a false nine. And when you look at how the team operates, he's so all over the pitch. He's so deep. He's so wide. He's so, occupying different spaces. And that in turn makes those spaces that Kralat Scali attacks, that Lozano, who's come back out of nowhere, attacks, that Politano even, and then the players from midfield, of course, pushing on like Jelinski, Labotka, and Guisa, and Guisa, who never used to score and has scored three times this season. And the truth is probably somewhere in the middle, probably there will be some sort of mixing up. Spalletti, I love Spalletti's, sometimes Spalletti when he's bullish just makes me want to laugh. 